we got some brand new details in regards to the DCU, the DCEU, and the Burtonverse timeline, and how exactly it all connects and what we're seeing. So let's talk about just how many years after Batman Returns these events take place, and what does this mean for the bigger multiverse? <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a little bit complex. So, The Flash is in the DCEU, and it's the furthest along in the timeline. We don't know the exact year, and that's not important, and allegedly it's never stated in the cut of the film that was screened, which is fine. But what we know is that Barry is traveling back through time, and then he travels by the end of the film into the time that's associated with Man of Steel. So 2013, 2014, wherever you place that film. Now, how exactly does Batman factor into this? Because this is the uh, big, uh, this is the big mystery, right? Well, well, the director Andrew Muschietti revealed when it comes to Batman Returns, which takes place a couple years after Batman '89, around 1992 or 1993. This film takes place 30 years after. So, if you do the math. It takes place in right around today when the film is coming out meaning that the dceu technically factors in around the same time hence how they're traveling and what's going on so barry essentially goes from today in 2023 to a different version of 2023 that's changed everything it's the burton verse and then they realize things got to be changed they're gonna go to the uh, they go to the events of man of steel it's supergirl things get uh screwed up and here we are right and then he runs back to the future and now he's in the dcu by the end but we're not sure of who's who what hero is where who's playing each hero and what's going on so it sounds a little complex but i think the film is going to do a fine job of explaining it because that's the film's job and since all the reviews and impressions are so positive it tells me that they do a good enough job of doing it, just like Avengers Endgame did, just like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with how they present the concept, and even Spider-Man No Way Home. A good writer and a talented director can tell you this with ease. And if we just look at the timelines and how they're converging, it makes sense because we know that originally, when The Flash was going to show us that Keaton was the main Batman in the DCEU going forward, that that would lead straight into Batgirl. So the universes were merging and they were just amalgamated into one by the end but that obviously changed and michael keaton is not going to be the batman moving forward so things are going to take a, a different direction by the end of the film which they even teased by saying hey the ending we showed at CinemaCon, that's not official because we're holding some surprises back so i guess we just gotta wait and see